Hey everybody, so this is how you make your um, second batch of kefir, kefir, however it's pronounced, using the initial batch. So hopefully you've seen my first video of how we made this one, um, which obviously the rest of it will be made into a milkshake shortly. Um, but here we have a second jar, and what I'm going to do is use some of this and some of my um, whole milk. Again, I go for the organic stuff just because I think it's probably slightly better, less chemicals, but any kind of whole milk apparently will do as long as it's sort of cow or goat. And again, um, you know, you can buy it from any supermarket. So literally all you do is transfer initially sort of three to five tablespoons from the original batch that you've made, which is this one, into this jar. And then we add in the milk and then we leave it alone. So literally all I'm going to do is transfer over and I'm going to try and get a bit of the Slightly thicker stuff down the bottom. That's two, three, four, so it's like that. So that is five. And you see that? Five tablespoons of the original one. And then I'm just going to add in the milk. And again, make sure it's whole milk. What I've been told is that, you know, if you are lactose intolerant, don't panic, because as it ferments and all the cultures combine together, it takes a lot of the, of the lactose out. So most people that are lactose intolerant can actually drink kefir. Um, again, it's slightly less than a litre of milk there, because obviously you put in the one down the bottom. I'm gonna give it a little stir. Just like that, and then stick the lid on. And that is that. Now apparently it should take half as long to make this one as it took to make this one. So this one was around about three days because it has been quite so, quite so cold. Um, it's actually a little bit warmer now here in the UK and this week's meant to be getting a lot hotter. Might be getting up to sort of 18, 19 degrees and we might even see the sun. So this, this is probably gonna take about 24 hours, maybe slightly longer um, to make but it's meant to be half the time as the original batch. So there we go. That is how you make your second batch. What I will do is I will come back again and obviously film it in 24 hours time and we can see how it's changed from the milk subject into this one. So please do like and subscribe because I'm gonna come up with more sort of healthy videos as we go along and hope you enjoy the video. Thank you very much, bye-bye. Hi everybody. So this is the, the second batch that I made from the initial batch and um, we are 24 hours in, so it's been sat on the work surface, nicely doing whatever it does. Um, I did have a look at it earlier. I'm happy that this is kind of how it's meant to be. Um, although I will double check with the people that are sort of showing me how to do it. Apology for the shaker camera work. Um, but yeah, so this is the second batch made from the initial batch. Um, and as you can see, it's nice and sort of creamy um, and definitely not the, the milky texture that we're used to. Just gonna give it a quick sniff. Yeah, and it tastes like like a Greek yogurt, stroke of cheese thing, and you can see it's a lot, a lot thicker down there. So this is the texture that I believe I'm aiming for, um, and I'm now gonna actually put this in the fridge and make one of the healthy smoothies tomorrow. To be honest, I quite like the taste of it, just like this. Um, so I can imagine with some bananas in there, it would taste really, really nice. Um, so yeah, that is it. That is the texture that that it should be. As you can see, it's a bit lumpy. It's um, a lot thicker. And then obviously what I'm going to do is just repeat the process on a daily basis from the start of this video. So take the five tablespoons full into the jar, add the water, and then start again. And it appears to be as easy as that to make kefir. So hopefully it is as good as people say it is. Um, and we'll find out shortly when I've taken these and drunk them for sort of a few days or weeks. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed. Please do like and subscribe. Cheers, bye-bye.